Today Television Company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Homeland, the official newspaper of the Republic of Western Armenia. The 8th liturgy took place in the Holy Cross Church of Akhtamar Island 1. 500 departments plan to be built in Asgayan Regional Center in 5 years. The doors of the Aragular Museum in Constantinople reopened with a new exhibition. Statues of 4,300-year-old idols found in Gesaria. The Armenian traces of one are being destroyed. The funeral of Asala member Hakob Dagelian took place today in Yarabulur Pantheon. The 23rd issue of the new edition of the monthly official newspaper of Western Armenia was published. The official newspaper will be published periodically at the beginning of each month. The 8th liturgy took place in the Holy Cross Church of Akhtamar Island of Lake Van. Those who had come to the town of Gevash to take part in the ceremony were transported by the boat to the island after the necessary control check. The island hosted only 25 people to take part in the ceremony, which was headed by the Armenian Patriarch Sahak Mashalian. Mashalian was accompanied by Father Shirvan Murzian and Chief Prize Grigor Damatian. Mashalian first talked to the visitors, then led the church service. The apartments of three new buildings under construction in the city of Askerian in Artsakh will operate at the end of this year. As reported by Armen Press, Artsakh President Arai Karutinian posted a video of the construction works on his Facebook page. Construction works began in August 2019. The number of apartments under construction is 38. It is planned to build 500 apartments in five years in a regional center. House construction is one of the key directions of our developing country. The program has gained momentum in capital, regional centers, and rural communities. Different tools of state support are used to encourage it. It will be continuous, Harutunyan mentioned. The new exhibition, titled In the Same Dream, will open its doors to art lovers starting from September at the Aragular Museum in collaboration with the Dorouz Group, which has a significant contribution to the field of culture and art. The new exhibition, which will last until February 28, 2021, features the intellectual works of history, the written works of Ahmed Hamdi Tampanar and the photos of Master Aragular, who immortalizes the visual images of history. Art lovers will witness a story from Constantinople where reality and fantasy are interwined with the new book and exhibition. Archaeological excavations at Kultepe, Kanesh, Western Armenia have uncovered 4,300-year-old sculptures of 10 idols made of alabasters. Because the origin of this type of idol made of alabaster is considered to be Kultepe, they are called Kultepe-type idols. One-headed idols are believed to represent god or goddess, and two-headed idols represent divine couple. The 23,500 cuneiform tablets discovered during archaeological excavations in Kultepe, Kanesh since 1940 are considered to be the first written documents of Western Armenia. The Armenian Hokat or Hokvats Monastery complex located in the Gurpanar district of Van is almost raised to the ground today. According to the legend, the tombs of the Armenian king Tartart and his wife are located in the territory of the complex. The 4th century leprosy was treated here. According to another legend, virgin Hipsi men lived in the monastery. The monastery is located in the area that has often been the scene of wars. Later, the historical structure suffered from wars. Today, only a few half ruined walls of the former complex are left. Today, a Salah fighter, Hakob Dagelian, was buried in the Yarabulun military pantheon in Yerevan. Hakob's family members, friends, former Asala fighters, and deputies of the government of Western Armenia were present at the funeral. Rest in peace, soldier of the homeland. Now let us represent your attention a song by Barujan Markarian. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.